We're back for another mukbang with our flint friend Glenn. We're making what are we making, Glenn? Uh, we were making a couple of munchy like snacks uh, that are used for munchies, but also that are a staple of uh, food that inmates eat inside prison. A lot of it's not good food, good for your body. A lot of it's sweet, a lot of sodium and stuff like that. But you know, uh, this is a lot better and a lot healthier than eating the food that they're serving us or trying to serve us in there. Which for my first five years was uh, D, DTP, DTV, something. It's a triple letter. It's a vegetable protein. Mm. But it's made in the meat. So they're trying they, to make you vegan. And, and, and the thing is, it's, it has a lot of estrogen in it. So like a lot of the dudes in prison, they, they had man titties. Oh, man. Because they're probably because testing the estrogen, like products, like. But it was also <laughs> giving people stomach cancer too. Ooh. And the, uh, TVP. Something tetra, something vegetable protein. That's that bad. That doesn't sound good at all, man. Like, that's all man-made stuff, obviously. Yeah, Would you say that this stuff helped you, like, <clears throat> keep your, uh, like, keep yourself going in a sense? Yeah, for the most part, because again, it's it's a lot better than eating a lot of the food, like. Depending on what camp you're at, the foods are like, some camps barely don't even cook at all. And they have, some camps you, they can't cook the things that they need to because you have all the inmates taking shit out of the kitchen, as well as the staff members. That's horrible. So, you know, that's... All right, well, you said we were going to be, I'm sorry, that was kind of sad. You said we were going to be making, um, what, your homeboy, is homeboy okay to say? Yeah. Homeboy called Spicy Jump Off, but uh, the Spicy Jump Off. But we couldn't it find Spicy Ramen. A big, bigger dude from Cali, I know, named Sandman. <laughs> he's actually, Jesus. he's actually a Peckerwood. What's up, bro? Big, big, uh, fucking Hawaiian Samoan dude. Cool. Oh, yeah. He's cool as fuck. <laughs> sorry, we couldn't sorry. find Spicy. <laughs> Yeah, and we then couldn't we're find spicy, but still, it's, it's still a good snack. Yeah, and Just uh, cake. a prison-style <laughs> cake. Are there other types of cakes? Or is oh, this... yeah, there's there's many other things that they do. But uh, what, what what is this, like, more of the well-known cake in the kind of uh, you went to? You know, it's just, like I said, it depends on, like, you know, what you have, what kind of money you have. Okay, so what kind of, would this be, like, your poverty, your middle class, or your high class? Uh... Not the whole box, but one is just like, just regular. I like mean, what we're going to use out of this. Yeah, I mean, not too many people, you know, have money to buy shit like this. And that's why, like, there's like a lot of trading and shit that goes on. Yeah, what you told me, like you would but trade soup for the most for part, stuff. yeah. Because most of the part on, on the real is the ramen play a big staple on everything in prison made. Yeah, I've heard like, when you get those books about prison recipes, I say prison because, I, I mean, I don't know, but they have almost everything, every main ingredient is a ramen. Yeah. Of different flavor. Yeah. So, and, but... And even the different flavors, I mean, like, they have some really decent, the ones that they sell, they have some really decent flavors. Okay. And, uh, like, with those flavors, we'll have to show you how to make the barbecue sauce we make in there. And it's... It, but it's a lot of sodium. If you're a diabetic, you. But you know, I know diabetics that sit there and make that shit, and they make it with, uh, you know, you we can't get a lot of things. So you're like fifty ketchups, ten mustards for the uh, what do you call it uh, for the vinegar, a little bit of pickle juice, one mayonnaise. You know what I'm saying? And uh, a hot and spicy vegetable uh, powder. And the Texas beef, hot, spicy Texas beef, because of the Texas, their style is kind of like a barbecue style beef flavor. And you let that sit. And then you can also add shit like uh, Coke. People use Coca-Cola. And they put uh, the, the oatmeal, the little uh, apple from the oatmeal to give it like that barbecue apple okay. kind of smoke flavor. That makes sense. It's very, you know, people have brains in there. It's very funny because... Alright, so what out of all this do you need? I mean, I know those you needed. 
in this. Should I start heating water up? How many do you want? Okay, so you just... Well, you're uh, making one too, right? Yeah, we're... I'm going to show you how to make this. So do we need more of these then? No. Oh. Should I need the hot water right now? Yes. I got it. Okay, so first... Mm -hmm. That's all we need out of these? Yeah. Alright, then we'll put this on it. Get it out the way. Okay, so first, there's a certain way you open the bag. Okay, start from the middle. Oh, well, everybody opens well, the bag. Slowly, slowly. Because what you want to do is keep the package intact, right? Yeah. I can do so that. You open it slowly. Easy, easy, easy. Lucy, go away. Lucy, go do something. Are you okay? Yeah, exactly. Do I take oh, yeah, my yeah, contents sure out? Okay. Got ramen. Am I gonna burn okay, my hand? No, 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 no. Go ahead and, and, and put, take, take, just take the thing. Yeah, put that back inside. Just take the, uh, the oh. flavor out. You're gonna cook it in there, the bag. Yeah, we're gonna cook it in there. Oh. Not bad. Okay. Yeah. So, you, so, uh, yeah. So you open your bag like so. Not splitting in any way. You know, it's a little process, but while you're inside, you have nothing but time to sit there and do that process because that's how you kill time anyway. <laughs> when you're just stuck mm -hmm. bored. So, do you, would you say that eating is like a, an activity for you guys? Oh, yeah, there's <laughs> definitely a lot of people. There are some people that have a lot of money, uh, like. Like people that used to be dope dealers and stuff like that. And these boys are getting big boy fucking canteen bags where you're only allowed to spend $75. And they got dudes, he's paying dudes to get three or four bags for this dude and storing his shit in other people's lockers. What are canteen bags? Canteen bags are these blue netted bags that you get for your canteen. They cost $4 at the canteen. But they Wait, canteen. what's the canteen? Okay, so That's canteen is canteen is basically like an inmate Seven Eleven. Okay, so it's the commissary. Yeah, it's okay. the commissary, and it's outside, you know. Uh, and you have to, depending on who they call out first, you know, that's who get who who gets in line. Okay. You know, by dawn, but okay. they have people from other dawn who don't have no money, but they're making trying to make a little money, so they jump in line for people that they know or they sell spots. Okay. So depending on how it is to try to get into the commissary there, you may be waiting two hours, three hours, depending on how big the line is, or okay. depending if you come out first. But if not, you know, you got somebody selling you a spot for like a pack of cookies or whatever like that. Okay. Or they want like two dollars and whatever in commissary that, you know, in canteen. Okay. Um, and I'm assuming that the commissary runs out of stuff. Canteen runs out. So that last arm is screwed. No, they, they run out, and they have people that come from the outside that come in and stop because it's actually part of a company. Well, I'm got hot water. Would it be this hot? This is boiling hot. Am I gonna burn my hand? No. You know what? You might wanna. Okay. So this is what's gonna happen. You are gonna pour. I'm gonna hold this. Okay. And you are going to pour some in here. Tell me when to stop, okay? Oh, yeah, hold on. Just slowly pour some I'm in I'm going there. to. I don't want to burn you. Okay. No. Keep going. No. Okay. I'm going slow because I don't want to spill on you or get steam on you. Good thing I shaved my armpits. <sighs> okay, hold on. Let me see. Let me it's not steam. Okay. Keep on going. Just a little bit more. Okay. How would you have done that if you didn't have a friend? I oh, know you stay. You you able to do it up underneath the water because you normally do it. Uh, they have it in the. Um, oh, like in the coffee things where you just. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they so, have it in the cooler. If I was to do this by myself, I just pour it in. How much did you put in? You're going up to like. You're going up above it, and you're holding it. You just hold it for about thirty seconds. And then Ben's so, gonna empty it for you. Yeah. Here. Ben, go empty his, please. I, I appreciate you, Fezzy. Yeah, keep it. Just watch yourself. Because that is, that, that's hot as... My glasses got foggy. Okay, not, you just, yeah. Will you come look? Is this enough? Did I do okay? No, you need a little bit more. Okay. 
Yeah. You want to do it? Please yeah. don't burn me. No, I'm not going to burn. I mean, hot water isn't that bad, but being a water sign, but you know. I think you're good. Ugh, Glenn, you're going to get my fingers. No, right there. Okay. That's, that's, that's how you want to do it. Now count to about 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Inside here, basically, you fold the bag over and you let it sit for about a second. While it's sitting in there, it's still it's still absorbing the moisture from in there, so it's basically like it's steaming it inside of the bag. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. <clears throat> that's really cool. College kids. <laughs> College kids. You don't microwave. microwave. <laughs> Although so, you need to cut it, which I think that was like 12 bucks, so. So this is like, again, you know, this is like its own little steam pot. Okay. All right, now, you don't want to get it too soft, so. Wait, you're going without me. So now, you're going to sit here and you're going to open up the pack okay. from the back and you're going to go slowly down the middle. Thank you, Ben. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> and so I got to open it with precision? Yes. Again, it sh you shouldn't have no problems with it because, well... You got all the time in the world. You got all the time <laughs> in the world. I like yeah. how fancy this is looking. What you're going to do is you take your ramen noodles and you turn it to the side and it opens. Well, not, oh, I was about to say, does it really matter it's square? It flips open. <laughs> oh, I have no time like in the world. Pocket, mine didn't really cook all the way here on the edges, but that's all right because it just make it crunchier. Ow! <clears throat> okay, now what you're going to do... Wait, 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 wait! Is... We have all the time in the world, Glenn. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm sorry. It's just, you know, again, you know, we move at a certain... Okay. At a certain... I mean, we get it done, you know, it's just so many... Well, I haven't had enough years, okay? <laughs> you need more training. It's all right. Oh, you took mine. Oh, where was my... Oh, okay. Oh, it don't okay. matter. Okay, take, it. take it up, right? Okay. <laughs> Now you're going to open it from the side. Well, that's kind of how you're supposed to. All right. <laughs> I feel like that wasn't it. Now you are going to, from the side of this, from the side, you're going to go ahead and from the corner, you're going to go ahead and make sure you hit just the, you want to try to lightly put it on there. Oh, <laughs> I'm not good. <laughs> the whole thing. Is there, is there supposed to be some left over in the packet, in the seasoning? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you don't want to... Just even what do you spread? have left? No, 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 no. You, I mean, you don't want you, you don't have to save it unless, like... Well, actually, take Good. this out. Look, so you can put the whole thing in there and if you want to, but it's a lot of sodium again. It's, yeah. it's not healthy. I mean, or, and what we would do is we would save the rest of the seasoning and the next time we go to chow, which is the chow hall, we would bring this to salt our food with because that's what everybody always asks for when you go up there. Hey, bro, you got any season? You got any season? Hey, Robin, yeah. 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 So what if some guy's like, look, I'm going to beat your ass if you don't give me your seasoning? No, there's, 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 there's no shit that happens like okay. that. TV has a thing of over imaginary shit. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some states that are like that, but like when I got in prison, I, the funniest thing is, and I tell motherfuckers today is that, we were playing D and D in there. That's what's nuts. They were playing D and D, Magic the Gather, like. But and it's crazy because it's all the, it's all the chomos. The the realistic. Explain is, what a chomo is. A chomo is a child molester. You know, a lot of the people you meet in there hung around the same groups of friends you did. You just didn't know. You know, and, okay. and you start finding out, man. It's really a small world, and you know. You know, Disney World thing kind of plays in my head from old trips from Disney World because that would everybody in prison would be like, bro, and then they'd be like, it's a small world after all. <laughs> like, like, real shit. Right. Okay, wait, what do I do next? Because okay, I'm pretty so sure now, it's too cold, right? Can okay, now, now no. So now you want to go ahead and grab one of your mayonnaise. Just one? Or yeah. am I going to put more in there? Just one. And you're going to peel the more. corner. I'm sorry, I you use can, my mouth. You can use your mouth because a lot of times that's what people do to just get it done fast and over with. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to... Can't make a smiley face? You can 
Dress it however you want. Look. Look, I can't open mayonnaise to save my life. <laughs> it's stuck in the plastic. <laughs> okay. Now. Did we hit low sodium one? No. Go ahead and we're gonna do the same with this, though we might need something. Do you have something to cut this open? Can you please? Thank you, Ben. Uh, a lot of, a lot How of times. How would you have done it in, in prison, though? So uh, a lot of times we have razors in prison. That's like, not um, dangerous. Well, they did. They, they just recently took them out. Do I put all my mayonnaise? More realistic. If you like mayonnaise, yes. Okay, I like mayonnaise. You, know, you want to put everything that you... You pasty girl like pasty foods. Yeah. I'm having a little bit of trouble with this this package, though, because the package Oh, it's the top like... of the... you got to use the tip of the scissors, but yeah, should have helped oh, you a little bit. Sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry. Do you need them anymore? Did uh, you get it? Probably. No, he got it. It's open. Yeah. Just... They're still there out the way. Can I ask you a question while you're doing that? Keep on asking away. Ask away. One of the viewers wanted to know, are there things that we can donate to the prison to help y'all out? Or to uh, make your stay better? Well, there is, but a lot of times, to be honest with you, donations, they run a lot of uh, bullshit. And they're kind of always telling you that, like, we got... We got the donations, mm -hmm. and they'll put them up, but they'll never give. They'll never actually give them to the prison, no matter what, yeah. <laughs> because they'll always make an excuse of how it uh, it violates law, or because like each camp, each camp in Florida is underneath a like they're underneath a set of laws that they they must abide by on how they treat the prisoner. But each camp, the the captain of each camp can decide how he wants to run his rules under the perimeters of that laws and he can change uh, along uh, a lot of the things if he wants to based on how he sees those laws. Exactly. Okay. And it's, it's, yeah. It's, they can make up laws on the spot. <clears throat> yeah. Do I put cheese on mine? Yeah. Right. You, I got it on the table. Whoops. I ate it. Oh, was this on date? I know you guys, so Glenn, do things stay in, do you get in date stuff in prison? Uh, for the most part, yeah. But I mean, there are some things you get out of date. Some there's sometimes that like the boxes that they get. Sometimes you'll get like uh bad food, bad honey like, buns. Like, oh, okay. So stuff that wouldn't really matter if it was bad. Yeah. Well, honey buns is uh, like a, a, a dollar something because they're the big iced honey buns. We need the same one. No. The okay. ice. We should get the ice. Yeah, I do. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna turn it back. <laughs> I made a ramen sandwich. And now you're gonna turn it to its side. You're gonna go ahead and. Maybe you zoom in with it or not? Wrap. Okay. Like this. So like yeah, I'll make it to you. Yeah. Put it, yeah. Make sure you tuck it in. <laughs> Go ahead and roll. Once you get that roll, yeah. you want to go ahead and grab this side, bottom here, okay. and start. Yeah, so once you start twisting, yeah. it acts as a push-up pop. Okay. So you twist, <laughs> and it comes up. Whoa. And then you go ahead and bite into what you've created. A ramen burrito. How is it, Alicia? <laughs> Pretty good. <Eric. laughs> you want to try it? I don't think I cooked my noodles long enough. Hold the bottom and no, don't squeeze. it's good. It's good like that. She's good. Right exactly. See, I mean, mine are really fully cooked. How is it? High sodium. High sodium. <laughs> Very high sodium. Good though. But they're good. And 
I ate this like this for a month, either every day or every other day. What my homeboy will show me. And we used to do it all the time. And I got fat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which leads to my next it's question. It's just that belly like that. Like, yeah. Like, I know what you're saying. Yeah, see it leads to my next question. How much free time do you get outside of the cell when not in max security? I'm assuming you weren't max because no. you didn't really um, do that bad of a thing. Actually, unless you like in the box, you get a lot of freedom. You wake up, you know, you're in your cell, but like if you got... Like programs like getting your GED or you're going back to school and shit or you're in like a, a, a certain uh, class that they provide either whether it's working for again you know like a, like the work camp or whether you're uh, I'm giggling because I'm like man I'm gonna make these on my own time. <laughs> <laughs> so like can you go outside like outside outside like in the sunshine whenever you want no when they call rec Unless you work outside as a rec orderly, which means you work outside and you pick around the rec yard, but you get to be outside a lot longer than everybody else. But still, I mean, you get to go outside like three times a day, you know, and you go out there and work and work out. And that's all we really have to do. Just work out, work out. Work out. Is you got, and you got the people that, you know, you got the junkies in there. Which they're on that Tucci shit, which that shit's fucking. That's an epidemic oh, yeah. in there, man. Tucci is spice, right? K2. K2 is spice. Fire. And the shit that says not for human consumption on it. But you know. This on my free time, and I probably yeah, will. Yeah, so you know, you keep on twisting until it's. But if you could get any more than that, then it wouldn't. I, I think it he's right. Hold, right. It wouldn't hold, yeah. Right. So like if we cook this softer, it wouldn't hold the, the, the burrito shape. It'd be more like... No, it'd be more wet. Okay. Whereas like I can hear yours is crunchy. Well that's because I didn't get to the end of that, but it don't matter as long as the majority of it is just soft. Okay. I got more questions. Well, the viewers have more questions. This is like a four part question, so bear with me. Are there gangs? Yes or no? Oh, yeah. And do you have to be in your ethnic gang? So, like, if, since you're Hispanic, would you have to be in the uh, Spanish, the, the Hispanic gang? Or do you can you be in, like, a black gang or a white gang or whatever gang? Down here in Florida, they can be anything they want. And okay. I think it's a bunch of bullshit because there's a bunch of fake shit going on. But that it's, a whole different, it's a whole different lifestyle. The gang, the gang lifestyle in there is totally different because those motherfuckers, they invite dudes to be their brothers and shit and then beat their ass if it uh, beat their ass if it comes to costing them any kind of money or deals with any other gangs and shit and their motherfuckers they're not supposed to be hanging around or because it's all about some other shit. It's, That's it's, shitty. Yeah. Which I guess that kind of answers the, the other hunk of that question which is it frowned upon to hang out with people of different like of different color than you so oh, since you're Hispanic? Um, uh, they have Excuse me, because these things are good. I haven't had one no. since I was... Take your time, man, and we can make them at the All the time. <laughs> I'll come over to the cold on the weekends and make them with you. Like, if you get the spicy ones, though... <laughs> oh, man, the spicy I'll buy ones. you spicy. I don't like spicy food. That's why I'm so happy I well, can no, find it. Well, no, because the, the lime flavor... the I mean, not the lime, but the, 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 the spicy, the chili flavor... Mm -hmm. It's a... Uh, It doesn't. It has a spike, a little spiciness to it, but it's mostly like a kind of garlicky kind of spice. Okay. So it's 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 good. But I see what you definitely mean about being salty. Like I I keep drinking water because I'm like, Phew, the salt, sir. It is, but it's good. It's though. good, and that's that's the thing. It's like guilty pleasure food right here. <laughs> I need more mayonnaise. What happens and if you you're... will. If you eat enough of these and you're not working out right, you're going to gain weight. I'm going to gain weight. I don't work out, Glenn. I'd be a fat prisoner. And I mean, you got dudes in there that are getting fat. Like, I know dudes that are... I know this one dude named, uh, from my last camp. His name is... His name is Tree. 
um, he's gonna be in there for life. Mm -hmm. But this dude is like six foot. He's like six foot. Uh, six foot six. Mm -hmm. And he's a he's a Wiccan as well. Cool. But, Wiccan or witch? Uh, a Wiccan. Okay. Or a witch. He claims to be when I when I go into the camp, he's got like this big pentacle made made in shop. So it's made out of wood. And this oh. is kinda of, thought it was pretty cool. <clears throat> and they make We got more questions. Is commissary really that expensive? And how much is wrong? Uh, well the prisoners they you know they figure they can inflate them. I mean like the the, the, the charges are really like a really bad case of inflation. Which we bought like one packet for twenty one cents. How much would one packet be for roast chicken? For a roast chicken, it's seventy eight cents. What worry about is their shoes, having decent shoes, you know. So a pair of like New Balances is a normal brand of shoes. Like people can get Reebok Classics, the old Reebok Classics, but everything is kind of comes in like a white gray. Yeah, because you know uniform and whatnot, right? Oh, Which how much do, do they provide you with shoes? And then you can uh, afford... No, they actually, well, they provide you with a, a state pair of shoes when you first went in. Well, when I first went in, they were called Bobos. And they're basically, uh, they look like the old retro, uh, what, Skechers? Okay. You know, they're the slip-on, slip-offs. Okay. So we had those, but they had no cushion at the bottom. So they took and they tore up in a month. Like I remember the first time that I went to go trade out my shoes, I went to try to run with my shoes off, and my ankle felt like I like as soon as I made that first step, it shot pain all the way up my ankle, and it's like I couldn't walk. And I was like, "What happened? Why can't I run? Why can't I?" And because my foot had been walking on on straight nothing the whole time, it's like walking barefooted out everywhere. So, but you can buy better shoes. You can buy better shoes if you have the money to. How much is it for like a pair of uh, the Reeboks you're talking about? The Reeboks are sixty bucks. Okay, so somebody. And it's would... the most the most wow. blandest, like, uh, uh, you know, it, colors and. Well, no, it's not. There's no color. There's only but one color, and it's that's I said. It's the most bland. It's like the most Reebok classic. No special edition. No nothing. It's just no, a plain. But... A plain Jane. Can you guys have shoelaces? Yeah. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. Yeah, um, yeah. Do you guys have soda in prison? Yeah, actually we do. Okay. There is, uh, at the canteen, you know, you can get stuff like Sprite Coke, uh, Diet Coke, Nest Tea, uh, and then, like, lately they've been buying from a different company, so you get, like, something like a, a, a lemon tea. Okay, so you guys do have... Okay, so first let's start with these Oreo cookies because there's something we're going to need to Hold do. on, I'm getting you that, that bowl. That bowl? Yeah. You don't have bowls in prison. Yes, we do. Oh, you do? Yes. You have containers like this? They have not oh. containers like this, but they, get, they sell plastic bowls in the canteen. Okay, so you have bowls. Yeah, so they have plastic bowls. They, they get special, you know, you can buy a... a they, they got this? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you okay. Okay, so. I've never seen the whole package pulled out. I need butter. We need peanut butter. Yes. That was on the list. And then it gets a peanuts just in case. And we need another little bowl because we got to collect something or something else. All right. Um, may I say that I have never seen Oreos opened up this way, Glenn? <clears throat> no. You open them from the top. <laughs> out of prison. That's the new style. That's the old style. Yeah, that's the, 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 the I can't reseal my package style. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. I'll put them in the blocky. I'm not okay. in prison. <laughs> Do we need this? Huh? I hope you didn't need that. No. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> we make messes here. Yeah, we gotta. Oh, okay. Would you, would you have a butter knife? No. You would have like a. You, you could probably have like a. Would it be plastic? Yeah, wait, plastic. wait, which side's cream and which side's cookie? Whoops, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, you are. Okay. <laughs> Here, let me help, because I feel useless sitting there. You want me to get you next year? Okay, what that. kind of things do you do you get smuggled in? Like, what would be, you know, brought in to the jail that isn't supposed to be in the jail? 
You can do drugs, foods, anything. Anything that isn't supposed to be in there. Just, like, list them off real quick. Man. Is this in date? Um, you know, they're damn sure smoking with tobacco. They're chewing dip. Which, that stuff isn't allowed in there anymore, right? Exactly. Okay. Uh, the spice from K2. God, I hate that stuff. Cell phones. Cell phones? How, how would they get a cell phone in there? The guards. I make a deal with the guards, pay the guards, but they don't know who it is because they Paying through a system called Green Dot. Yeah. Which is like your little card you buy at the store. Yep. Okay. So they just go back and forth delivering numbers back and forth. And they pay. You know how much it costs for a cell phone? A, a cell phone you get for like $50. The cheapest one is $500. Oh my god. Come here, motherfucker. What would you like, need a cell phone for that bad? Because people are trying to get on Facebook and shit like that and post their life in prison. And they have been posted in prison. I can pull up a couple of clips, show you. People do rap videos. Yeah, and shit that. like that. that. Like, and, and they're like, bro, like, these motherfuckers are hanging out in prison. Like, they're just hanging out. Real shit. They do YouTube too. Like, I've seen, yeah. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen it too. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, already then. Do you <laughs> so, want another one? A whole sure different are? life. <laughs> I noticed you lick everything. Is that just a, a, a been in prison thing? Do they have paper towels? Like, how do you dry your handies? Mm. They used to give us napkins in the tray. And then they stopped doing that. So really, you just wait until you get back to the... You do the cat thing? You wait until you get back. Or, like, sometimes, like, if you, like, chicken night, when you gotta do your hands and they ain't got no... You bring, you make sure you come beforehand and you bring paper towels with you. Or, when you're leaving out of the towel hall, you wash your hands underneath the water fountain. Or go into the little, the little back room right there and use the little, use the water. Okay. Will you get in trouble if you wipe stuff on your clothes? No? So if you want to destroy your uniforms, it's fine. No, you can't destroy Not them. destroy but I mean like wipe grease on If you destroy a uniform, on. if you destroy a uniform, that's destruction of state property. <laughs> They'll try to get you. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's, I mean, what are they going to do with it once you leave? Wash it and give it to someone else? Probably. Of course. A lot of times when you walk in there and you have your shirts, your shirt, your name tag, where your name tag has been stitched on, it'll be like this thick. And you'll see, you can take all the names and peel them off and see all the past inmates that they <laughs> were. They, they can't even take off the old ones. <laughs> That's it's lazy. That's lazy. Yeah, they're real lazy. Okay, what what do you need next? Okay, so right here. Yeah, oh, you know what? No, you know what I'm gonna need to do here? What? Sorry, here. I'm gonna have to have to see all that. I'm not too concerned. Up. It's crushing up the cookies. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. Normally, normally you would. The cookies come in little packs like this. And being this size, you slam them pow, on the ground and it breaks up the cookies inside of the pack. But wait, then how do you get the cream separated from it? Well, most of the cookies. Continue. I got the, the hot chocolate. It has okay, mellows. The, the hot chocolate, Swiss chocolate. Normally they have a nest, nest tea, but you actually do get these. When it comes to the packages. Okay. Now, there are quarterly packages that they send us throughout the year. And uh, they're like every couple of months. And they're actually like gym shorts and, and, and sweaters and stuff prepared for the winter. Okay, so they're you know, not freezing. Sneakers and stuff like that. But there's two packages that come every year. And it's from two different companies. And they both have stuff. Like, some of them have the same products, and one company is much more expensive than the other one. Okay. But, <clears throat> for the most part, they generally have the same items. Okay. But, some have different items that the other one doesn't have. And you'll get a chance to get both of them. Okay. And that's just more stuff, because, like, you're only allowed with so much stuff in your locker anyway. Okay. And, you know, if you have, if you have all so much shit overfilling your locker, you know, it draws attention. But, oops. I don't care. It draws attention. 
or you know, it's just some guards to be assholes about it. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, what do we do next? Okay, now we need some of that hot water. Oh, let me. I don't know. Just, just tap it. Is that hot enough? Um, do you guys smuggle stuff in your butts? Uh, you know what? Yes. I don't. You never did. Particularly, I never did. I never wanted to because I never wanted to get in ways of making money. But, you know, there are inmates that do all kinds of things just to make money, just to make a soup. Okay. Can I tell you a secret? I take Oreos and put them in a bowl. Like, I put it, they're not broken up though. And then I pour milk on them and I let them get soggy and I mush them up like that and I eat them that way. So I'm kind of excited already. Because <laughs> your friend here likes soggy Oreos. Okay, do you have. <laughs> yeah, so basically, you know, for something like this though, I mean, either it would have a blade or it would be a, Remember a soup tips. bag. I'm so glad you don't want to use a soup bag. That's kind of weird for me. Soup bag. Okay. Okay, so. We don't. This is just like, yeah, this is. What would that have been? Oh, a soup bag. You never mind. You already specified that. Sorry. Yeah. We don't need the water anymore? This. No. Sorry, I'm touching you. Does it bother you? No, no. So, this is basically your, your, your base. This looks so weird. On the cake. So, being how big these, these are mini. Sorry. Yeah, they're, they're mini buttons, but you'll get mm -hmm. the idea once you see this put together. Do you want me to open one? How many of these do we need? Uh. One, two, four, nine. Well, we don't have that many, so. Do you need six? We have six, Max. Do you need the plastic from it? No. Okay, because I might have messed it up if they did. One here. Yeah. Because this is like kind of mush it together underneath the plastic. I'm trying to think if there's like any other questions. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's pretty more. You, you need all the questions you wrote down? Yeah. yeah. Like Whatever it. pops in your mind at this point. <laughs> so here. Sorry. What I did though is I took some of the peanut butter. You get peanut butter in squeezable pouches. Like like the mayonnaise? Yeah. Okay. Well, longer ones, so. though. More like this? <clears throat> Real longer. You know what? We don't have one. Yeah, we don't have that to, to actually We're go. We're not fancy. So this this is the, the, the cookie cream in the middle. I add some peanut butter to it, which another thing is well. This, this, that. this is starting <clears throat> to look quite bricky. Can I pick this up without, like, breaking? Uh, no, out. you can pick it up. We'll go ahead and show it. Now normally, I think we I need to, we need to uh, that, break that... some more up. Okay, and um, that's what this looks like. Peanut butter and cream. Yeah. Break some more up, and we'll try to like. Are we gonna add it to that? Or are we putting more cream? Uh, I'm gonna. No, we're not gonna put. We're adding to this, but just just the cookie, on, like uh, I so guess you don't more powder cream. it up a little bit. So. I can do that. Yeah. Well, no, go ahead. You could add more cream yeah, in here. Yeah, because I was like, well, what am I supposed to do with the cream? Because I don't yeah, want to eat that much sugar on my own. Now, you know, another bit like this, you can also add more some chocolate to it. How many cookies should I do? Just keep going till I feel like I've satisfied myself with them? Yeah, I mean, basically, because, you know... Maybe I own You're pieces. inside, however you like to eat or however you like your things, that's how... Basically, you know, you want to make everything. Do you know people do this and then put all the cream on one cookie and make themselves like super stuffed Oreos? You do that? Anything? I do not. I <laughs> I already. Why don't you just get the mega stuff? I are, I already told my secret of turning them into like a soup. Cookies and cream. No wait, put your knife back. Hold it. Hold it hard. Okay. How many more do you want? Is that enough? Do you think that'll be enough, or do you want more? Because, I mean, we could do this whole thing, but that's... Oh, you said this is rich. Yeah, this, this is going to be rich anyway. Super do you think four more rich. cookies is enough? Huh? Do you think four more is enough? Yeah, I, that should be... Because, really, I'm going to need something to break those up in. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Here, you want to mash them back in this one? 
Yeah, but I, I need him. I need, I need him to be like I'm gonna have to have him like. Uh, I guess, <coughs> you want me to do it? Like no, it's just dry instead of having it wet. Oh okay. Mm-hmm. Did you so want you another bowl? I guess I could have got you another bowl. Well, how many bowls would you be allowed to have? Uh, you're only allowed to have one bowl. That's that's the actual. You just the one bowl. If you have more than two bowls, uh, they'll confiscate the other bowl that you have. Okay, so now, and but then, you would do something like this with one or two of your other friends, right? Yeah, exactly. So you'd have three bowls max. Well, if you had that's, people. that's here's the thing. You really yeah. only if if you're gonna make something big and you decide you're gonna go share it with somebody, you're gonna go tell somebody about it. And they're like, hey, bro, bring this, and I'm gonna, you know. So they have bring, to bring, bring something. To yeah, be bring me it. something, or sometimes like you know, sometimes you don't. You know what I'm saying? Depending on, you know, how this dude lives. Okay. Okay, what do we do next? So, I'm so last. Okay, so now, I'm going to go ahead and add these crumbs. You, you're touching it. Not you, but the bowl is touching the mush. I'm going to add it to the mush. I don't know why it bothered me. <laughs> I don't know, because the mush. This is getting fancy, Glenn. Yeah, I know. This is a dude sit here. Dude, sit here and make, sit here and make this shit just because they got nothing better to do with their time. I mean, well, you don't. I mean, I like to read. Okay. Always read. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I got something on my finger and I ate it. I feel like I'm in prison now. Um, I'm falling off your plastic one. I guess it don't matter. Do you have tables in your rooms? No. So what do you do this on the floor? On the bed. Oh. Here. Go for it. You know why it looks funny? Because I turned it on him and now he it's like going the wrong way. Okay, yeah, it's like Okay. It's like a blue sideways now. Yeah, I I threw off his groove. You got it, you got it. Okay, I can't have my dogs eating chocolate though. I'm using my foot. Whatever I pick up we can't eat. Sorry, Glenn. Yeah, I kinda need a bigger plate of uh I need to Sorry. have a bigger, pl- uh, bigger piece of plastic. Can you get, uh, just get saran wrap. wrap. I can't lie, it's starting to turn into something. Now I got a question, do they look as messy as you do right now? Uh, actually... Or are you just not as good at this as they were? It's a combination of both. <laughs> at least he's honest. It is a combination of both, but still. Can know. I try? Is it like the burrito thing? Am huh? I, what am I trying to shape it into? I want to try. You you want to shape it into a little, about a piece that's going to fit on top of that. Okay. I can do this. So normally you got the harder plastic that you do it with, or, you know what I'm saying, it's a lot, it's a lot uh, better to use. Okay, so... Let's see what else we got next to do. Oh, the Snickers. Now, you know, we need a knife. Uh, We got butter knives. Here you go. Okay, now normally for stuff like this, you won't have a butter knife or anything you use like that. What we use is razors. Yeah, you were saying that. For the, uh, I think it was the ramen. I think. I could be wrong. There, it's, it's honey bun shaped. God, stop sticking to me. And it's funny because again, like you asked, there are people that are taking their times, even just going and developing new shit. I can tell you, show you how to make honey mustard. I'm gonna like it too, though, because I just like to eat. Oh yeah. So go ahead and put that on here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, gotta bring it in so they can see. And go ahead. And... Oh, I missed! Gonna... I missed, Glenn. <laughs> Get that on top of there. This is why do I keep touching it? Do you want another napkin? You don't need another piece of. Oh no, wait, this might actually be good. I just keep putting napkins on and they keep disappearing. Okay, so now. (laughs) Oh, we've got to keep our plastic. Grab all your garbage. No, you just want to go ahead and, like, put this on there because it acts as a layer. Sorry. I will reach over you. I have no manners. This, you know what this looks like so far? What? An What's eclair, that? a giant eclair. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> oh. Or a giant glazed donut. That too. That could go. That could go as well. Now, what we're gonna do? So 
Uh, you need the same one? Uh, yeah, yeah, actually I do. Okay, I'm, not, I'm just I do, yeah. trying to keep your area clean. Uh, okay, um, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and... I'm assuming those are done. So we add, need the other Snickers. We're going to add the icing to it. This is icing? Oh, little, yeah, this is... Where did this come in? Okay, that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you. Okay, I'm just making sure it didn't go in your mix. Yeah, no, not yet. This here is very. Do you feel the headache coming already? Yeah. Are you excited for it though? I am. I am because these things are again. These are. When's the last time really, you made one of these? Oh man, like uh, like. Right before, actually, one the best, the, the better one was like around like Christmas time. Uh, okay, so we got that now. You know that's that was the icing. We normally have like peanut butter with the squirt on there, but so which makes it easier. I'm sorry. We, yeah, they don't no, have no, a squirt. No, no, no. I know, I know. You, you got to explain. I'm just saying. They, I would have had to buy like a you know, hundred or more, and I can't use that much anyway. So you know they use that. And then go ahead and and, 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 and and decorate it. Oh my god. With some chocolate. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a little bit. We break it up a little bit more. Just shove it. Don't worry about it. We don't have to make it look fancy. Yeah. It's stuck to me. There we go. Okay, and then. I'm gonna put this over here because we don't need it right now. Then what we do is go ahead and take take the, just just the one cherry. You want to come over here and be a part of this one? Well, I mean, like a part, like try it with us. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is. You could have asked for the scissors. Okay, yeah. this one. It becomes a little bit thicker. Do we have water here too? You need to use water. I know it's warm, but. So we're making like chocolate cherry drizzle? Like, yes, exactly. Okay. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, where it's dripping. I hope so. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and. This is getting fancy! I mean, we were already kind of fancy. We're getting like extraordinarily fancy. Would you like to tell people where you work and what you do? What you're planning yeah, so, to be? Yeah, so I'm apprenticing to be a tattoo artist. I did a lot of portraits and a lot of pictures and tattoo designs for people while I was in prison anyway. Uh, a lot of people were telling me that I should start tattooing. Uh, you know, but I also took an interest in it as well too because I like drawing stuff like that. You know, sometimes it's hard for me to want to stay drawn because of my attention span. I have to feel you. You know, uh, I have to feel like I, I want to draw or whatever because if I'm not feeling it, then I'm not, you know, and that's just kind of the thing that, you know, bugs me from other people because I know other people that have spent all day drawing, I can't do it. That's you though. You know? That's so, just how you are. You're not other people. Your you're creative here. force comes in and out. I know how you feel, man. Like, exactly oh, that's that. kind of, have we gone that's that kind point? of taught. So there's gonna there's gonna be a tart taste to this at the end of it. Again, that cherry is a strong, strong, strong. A weed lover's dream. So now what? Now comes the test, the taste. I'm ready. You have a fork too. Here's your fork. All right. Ben, you want to taste this? Yes, come get it. You can come get in the middle so with us. So basically... You might want to get a silver one. Yeah. Grab which, you. they have sporks. I found that out. I was like, well, I have spoons and forks. So... Come get in the middle. So you can be... Yeah. Make a, a surprise appearance. So... He put a lot of love into this. Again, check it out. That's, yeah, that's, that's the that's, stuff he that, made. That, 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 that's a little bit... That's on the... It's a little bit of sourness. It's sweet and sour. That's right. Mm -hmm. well, so. Nice. Smells good. <laughs> Smells like diabetes. Mmm. Who 
Pretty cool. I like everything else. That's pretty sour. I like the sour though. What? Good. It cuts through like the gummy sweet. <laughs> He's over here in like heaven and we're like, whoa! Look at a donut. You left your fork in the way. I like it. 10 out of 10 would make. Well, Oops. with them, if you have only diabetes or. <laughs> After a couple of bites, like I said, you know, good four or five bites of this, maybe three is, would be decent. But this is a, a sugar rush. Mm 